Hey everybody, welcome back. Well today I am sharing my at home manicure favorites and what brought this video about was because I've actually had several messages with people asking me about uh, my favorite nail polishes. Can I show how to do at home manicure? I think in like one of my videos recently I said something about um, you know, being lower maintenance than I thought because I actually like do my own nails and other things and how many people don't do their own nails. So I used to talk more about nail polish on my channel, I feel like years ago, but then so many people get their nails done that I kind of quit sharing. Um, I do still share on my Instagram once in a while, like what polish favorites or anything. And I kind of go through stages of polishing my nails and not. Um, I actually, speaking of polish, I need to put another coat on, but I had to um, do something else. So I kind of got busy. I just put this on today and it is so pretty. If you guys like uh, like a peachy pink, you know, more on the peach side of like a light color, you would love this one. And it went on very well, you know, because sometimes those milky whites, pinks don't go on well. This one did. And like I said, I need to put another coat, but it covered really well with just one. So this is a new one I had ordered a couple weeks ago from um, London Town. I've talked about these polishes, so these are definitely a favorite. I've been using this brand for a couple of years. Um, they were nice enough to send me some products a couple of years ago. I'd never heard of them. And then they've sent me some things off and on. I've ordered some things. I actually have a coupon code for you guys. I don't get anything from it. They were just kind enough to offer it. Um, to you guys, it's 25% off. I'll leave that below. Um, but this one is Peach Pop, and they have a lot of great colors on the site. Um, but I'm really loving this one. It, I can tell it's definitely going to be a new favorite for sure, because like I said, it has that little bit more of a peach undertone to it. So now that I got that out of the way, basically I'm going to be sharing some favorite polishes, what I do um, to my nails. I've tried to record an actual video of me doing my nails before and it just does not work out for me. <laughs> it's like, it's blurry, the lighting is off. I don't know, for me and my setup, it's harder than one would think. For some people, it might be easier. Um, so let me go ahead and stick with a couple of nail polish things that I'm looking at them. Um, often I know people are wanting to run to the drugstore right now to get something. I used to use a Sally Hansen one years ago, um, but I found it almost like it was shrinking up, if that makes sense. If you've had that happen, you totally know what I'm talking about, but it was the Insta Dry. She probably makes some other ones that are great to use, but the one in the red bottle, I used to swear by and I love, but like right up here at the um, cuticle, I would notice after, I don't know, a few days, it was literally like it was shrinking off my nail. Like I could see it. It wasn't growing out either. It was, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like I said, if you had that happen, you know what I'm talking about. So I quit using that and then for several years, I started using the CND Vinylux top coat. This is amazing. This is probably one of the best top coats I had ever used. It makes your nail polish last long. It's nice and shiny. You can find this at Ulta. More recently, what I've been using, and it is similar to the CND Vinylux, but I probably like this a little bit more. And this is the London Town. This is the Cure uh, Gel Genius top coat. So love that. And then as a base coat, I've been using the one from London Town. I am not real particular about a base coat. This is the nail hardener base coat. What I like about London Town is they are like nine free or something like that, I think it is. Where, so no harsh chemicals, um, you know, formaldehydes, any of that that you can find in some other nail polishes. So it's a very clean brand of polish. And if you use like um, their, base coat, top coat. I think the top coat is the key for them really. If you use their system together, you can get up to like two weeks out of a manicure. That's a little long for me. I would say I usually get about a week, if not a little more. The key though, I always tell people is keep your nails short. I think that's the key with almost any of them is you need to keep your nails short. I have this little caddy here and I couldn't tell you where I got this. I've had it so long, but I love this. It just lives in my linen closet. And I just keep, you know, you can see like nail files and things like that in there. I'll kind of share what's in there. I'm sure you could get something like this on Amazon. If I can find something similar, I'll link it below. But that's my suggestion is search on Amazon. So I have certain files that I like and they're hard to come by sometimes. This is actually a Revlon one. It's an Isaac Mizrahi pattern. But Sally Hansen used to have... Um, this one might be, yeah, this one's a Sally Hansen. So you can see they're similar. 
I like these nail files by Sally Hansen, but I cannot find them anymore. Um, these are great. They used to always come out with them like around the holidays and I would like stock up on them. Um, but again, I don't see them anymore. So this was the closest I could get. I like that one side is a little finer than the other. Um, and then I also have recently been using, because of one of you mentioned this to me, thank you so much, is a glass nail file. Now, honestly, they've always kind of weirded me out, you know, just that feeling on your nails and it still does. But I have to say, when you finish with a glass nail file, so say you just want to even shape them with an emery board or a regular nail file, if you will finish them with a glass nail file, I find I get less chipping with that. So if you have a problem with chipping, maybe check out a glass nail file. Um, this one actually was sent to me, I think with London, yeah, this is London Town as well. They sent this to me um, and I just started using it not too long ago. As far as like what I do for my nails, um, say, you know, I'm re removing the polish and gonna put some new polish on. I like um, two different nail polish removers. These are both by Q-Tex and I've used different ones over the years. Um, this is actually the nourishing one and I like this one a lot. I feel like it works really well and it doesn't dry out my nails too much. But if I have on a dark color, especially on my toes, I will use the nail polish remover pads. And you can even get the store brand in these and they work really well. But sometimes I'll just pick this one up if they're out of the store brand, which I think was the case with this one. These are great on vacation too. So if you wanna travel and you know your manicure isn't gonna last as long, like for me, um, if I know I'm going like on a week long trip or something, you know, you have to paint your nails a couple days before. Well, I may wanna take it off before the end of my trip. I may not repaint them, but I want to, may wanna take the nail polish off. I always bring one of these with me and it's great because they're so convenient and they are so saturated with remover that I can do like all 10 nails, no problem. But what I love about these is they have like a scratchy surface almost. It doesn't damage your nail, but it really gets the nail polish color off. Or, and that's why I said I like it for dark colors because you aren't working as hard to get the polish off. So the polish remover pads, no matter the brand, I find are really good. So I take off my nail polish. I file my nails. Of course, you've always heard people say you want to go like one direction. You don't want to be sawing on them like this. So. Um, I like mine pretty square, but with slightly rounded corners. So what I do is I will start, and I always do it looking at me like this. I have my hand like this, and I will just keep going one way across my nail. And then when I get to the corners, you know, I kind of do that and then whichever way, just to round them out. What you have to do, you know, then if you have a lot filed off, you always have to get that underneath. And that's what's good for the lighter side is to kind of flick up and remove all that, if that makes sense. Sometimes I cut my nails, sometimes I file them down. My nails grow very quickly. Um, and I don't like a lot of free edge. Like I don't like to feel a lot on my hand or when typing or anything like that. So I just use a regular nail clipper. I like the bigger ones. I mean, this wasn't, this one isn't huge, but I think it came in a two pack of like a smaller one in this one. Um, and it's just a straight across edge. I find I like those the best. So a lot of times I'll just clip my nails and then I'll file them just to smooth them. Um, and again, if you wanna use this, this is really good if I clip them and then use the glass nail file. Um, if I happen to have any hang nails, you know, you want, a cuticle trimmer. Do not though trim all of your cuticles. That will damage your nail. Believe me, I've done it before and it will almost make like little bumps where your nail grows out because I've done it on this finger actually because I kept having a cuticle or like hang nail and stuff and so I would trim and trim more and then my nail feels funny when it grows out. It'll be like bumpy and it will definitely damage your nails. It's not meant to like totally get rid of. Plus that it protects your nails. But use this as a cuticle trimmer. Just, you know, if you get little hangnails or something, I always feel like I get them on my thumbs, probably because they get the most dry. So just, you know, take off any of that. I find cuticles are what make your hands look the nicest. Like you definitely need to keep your cuticles in check or that's how your hands can just kind of look, you know, gross. Uh, I like two different things to push my cuticles back and I'm always doing that. I feel like, um, like every couple days I push them back because mine, will grow out pretty well. And it's funny because some people's don't. Some people, it seems like they just always stay nice. Anyway, I use an orange stick uh, or you can call this a cuticle pusher. They come in a pack. Um, we call it an orange stick back when I was in cosmetology school. 
They come in packs like this. Pretty much any brand makes them. I think this is Walmart brand. They come several in there. There's a pointy end and then a flat end. And I use these um, when I do pedicures and stuff too. It's good to get, you know, when your cuticles are wet to get all that extra off. Um, so I just use these, push my cuticles back, love that. Or they also have ones like this that are flat on this end. And then you actually have like the little trimmer scraper on that end. Be careful because these are very sharp, but you know, if you always have a little bit, like I said, on certain nails that you need to scrape off, those are good. However, if you want to use an actual cuticle remover, which they say cuticle remover, it really doesn't remove the whole cuticle, but it does dissolve it well. Um, this is the Sally Hansen. This is the instant cuticle remover at maximum strength. You just put a little dot of this on each cuticle, leave it on there for a few minutes. And then I still will use the orange stick to push it back and kind of, um, you know, just scrape along to get any excess off. And I wipe it off on a paper towel and wash my hands. But this is really nice at keeping your nails looking good as well. Keeping your cuticles pushed back again. That's the key I feel like to nice looking nails and hands. And then the last thing I'll do, I do have some ridges in my nails, um, only like a few, like my thumbs have ridges and my ring finger have ridges. Um, I will use a buffing block for that. I don't do it a lot because it can thin your nail bed if you do that too much too often. Um, especially I notice like on my ring finger. If I do that too much, it will get thin and sore kind of. So I just do a tiny light little buffing, get any ridges out of there or discoloration or anything from polish. So buffing block is nice. I like these in particular. I need a new one. I've had this one for a while. Sally's has a lot of good um, nail stuff too, but like Walmart, Target, drugstore, anywhere does really. So something I want to talk about as far as nail polish. And a lot of people are like, oh, I'm not good at polishing my nails, especially like, you know, using your left hand if you're right-handed or vice versa. Something that helps if you're just not used to it, and after a while you just get used to it, is I use a little brush like this. This is an e.l.f. brush. It's the concealer brush. I will pour a little bit of nail polish remover in the cap, dip this in it, um, and like kind of dab on a paper towel or something so it's not like dripping. Dip this in it and clean up around your cuticles. So if you are one that just gets messy cuticles, I don't have to do it on my nails, but sometimes on my toes, I notice. Because sometimes I'm just messier. Now I'm not like all over the place, but you know, it just gets on it more. I always use this for my toes. Just clean up, especially if I'm painting them a red or dark color. I want them to be very clean looking, precise. Um, these little brushes are great for cleanup. So that is something I highly recommend everybody have if you're painting your own nails. And as far as like also keeping your hands and your nails nice, every night before bed, I put this on. I've spoken about this before. It's the Gold Bond um, Ultimate Healing Cream. It is really great in the winter, but also now, you know, if you're washing your hands more like we all are, but I just always use this before bed. I also like the Shea Butter one from L'Occitane. That's a great one too. Anyway, this is non-greasy, absorbs well, just keeps your hands nice, and I always just kind of rub a little bit into my cuticles. So that's how I care for my nails at home. Very simple. Um, and now I'll just share like a few polishes um, because a lot of people always want polish recommendations. So I have this, and this is thanks to Lisa Lisa D1. She showed this in one of her Amazon hauls, and I had actually been shown it in my Amazon haul video when I got it. I love this thing. Several years ago, I um, condensed all my nail polish down. I was like, okay, I'm only gonna have a certain amount of this color or this color. I wasn't gonna go crazy like I used to. And this helps, it keeps it all contained. And what I've done is I have like darks and brights on one side and then you flip it over and I have all my neutral polishes on this side. So I'll just give you a couple from each. I'm not gonna go into great detail with everything, but if you're wanting some recommendations, um, of just some of my go-to favorite colors. Like I'm just looking at this one, for instance, this is Revlon, um, Cherries in the Snow. This is great, I love that lipstick as well, but this is just a really pretty go-to color. Um, I really like, let's see, is it this one? Yeah, this Butter London is a nice one if you like darks. This is Ruby Murray. This one's similar from London Town. It is Lady Luck. I really like this one, it's very pretty. And then my favorite red, I've talked about this, I know, during the holidays on Instagram. 
to me, for my skin tone in a very true pretty red, not an orange red or anything like that, is this one. This is Double the Deck from London Town. They have several reds on their site, but when I was looking for just a really pretty true red that looked good on me, I love this one. This is seriously one of my favorites. Um, this is an oldie but goodie, um, Rosamund Thorns from China Glaze. Uh, this is great on the toes in the summer. Love that. Another oldie but goodie favorite of mine. This is um, Kiss the Bride by Orly. I mean, I feel like I've spoken about this for like five years or more. Like, I just love this one. It's a great color. This one by London Town is a great one too. It's afternoon tea. This is very pretty. Essie um, ballet slippers, can't go wrong with that. That that to me is just a go-to. When I don't know what color I want, or I'm not really feeling anything, I just go to that. This is also a go-to for me. Um, I just had this on my toes and I took it off, put something else on. The Lisbon Once More OPI. This is, you cannot go wrong with this. It has like, it's like that pink, but it has like a little bit of a gray undertone. This one was probably my first one from London Town that I had shown and I love it. I get compliments on this when I wear it because it's just such a beautiful lavender. This is a uh, Briolette. Love it again. That is probably one of my favorites. So I like a mix of brands and colors and all that. If you guys want more suggestions, leave them in the comments. If you're looking for something specific, I can maybe suggest something. But those are just my at-home manicure basics, kind of a little bit of how to, how I do it, how I keep my nails looking good. Um, with all polishes, I try to only do two coats. If you start doing three, I just feel like you're asking for chipping and problems and get a good top coat. I feel like a top coat is key. Years ago, and I still have a couple of bottles, Revlon made an awesome base coat, but they no longer make that anymore. So those of you that watch then or still have that, you know how good that was. I would have said back then that base coat was the key. Now, since I can't find that I've tried others, I would definitely say a good top coat is the key. And these two are definitely ones I recommend. I used to have some C&D Vinyl Lux polishes too, but they must have not made the cut when I condensed my um, collection down because I know I had a few. So anyway, those are good polishes too, especially if you want something that lasts. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions below. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. I make new videos all the time. I'd love to have you back and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.